Hey guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial. Uh, we'll be introducing you today with everything you need to know about the Arduino chip. Now it is an open platform uh, hardware so you can easily um, program LED lights to blink or you can program timers, whatever you may need to I mean, mess around with this. It's an uh, open platform. So we're going to teach you basically what we know so far and then we'll upload more videos. So let's get started with the first task. Uh, Alright, so the first thing you need to know about Arduino is first that there is a program that they have on their website, which I will put in the, des the, the description. Uh, it's both compatible for both uh, Mac and Windows, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, once you get it, you can easily open it. It should look a little something like this. So it's going to open up a blank one. Uh, you don't want to exit out. First, we're going to start we go all the way down to file examples. We we'll go to digital. We we'll start with the blink. It's just a basic LED blink. So what we'll notice is that there's these this gray, the gray wording here. Uh, these are really just comments. You'll not, you'll uh, notice it here. If you have two backslashes, it's just going to be the rest is not going to affect any of your program. It's just comments so that if you go back and look at the program, you know that LED connect to pin 13 is right there. Uh, in the order that the blink will go, this has the integer, which just signifies if there's basically any devices or anything that's hooked up, you're going to say that the LED pin is equal to 13. It's just saying that on the Arduino board itself, there's a pin number 13, and that's going to be registering in the Arduino chip. All it's really doing is just identifying it. Identifying it, thank you. Uh, then we have void setup. Uh, we're just inputting anything else, if we're including um, things such as, uh, I mean, LEDs, LED lights, exactly. Switches. Switches, uh, especially switches. Um, you'll just recognize it, and, and you'll notice this here is the same as this here. Uh, you can easily change it, say if I wanted to call it LED pin 13, it'll be the same exact thing. But of course I would have to change it, so forth. Excuse me. Um, it's just almost a variable saying that LED pin 13. But you have to use LED pin. But you have to use LED pin as part of the, the name. Um, you have void setup. We already included that. Uh, your loop is your main function. It's, ex it's what you want the Arduino to do. If you want it to blink uh, in a series of increasing or de decreasing lights, uh, if you want it to turn on, turn off, it's basically to do anything, you need this here. So we'll start with this. Digital write is a function that turns the LED pin on or off. High being on, low being off. And the de delay, and make sure they always always have a semicolon because it ends each statement. Uh, the delay, once you include that, it's going to say uh, delay 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. It's going to delay digital write this pin off. It's going to delay one second. Closes the loop. Once the loop is, uh, loop is complete and it starts, this one starts at the very top again, turns this on, waits for one second, turns it off, waits for one second. So it should look a little something like this. Okay, so once you get your Arduino board, it should hopefully come with a cable similar to this, have a little end like that, and a simple standard USB 2.0. So we're just going to hook this directly into the side of the computer. And you insert this side onto this little port right here. And so what this is going to do is, since it's hooked up uh, to the computer, you can actually upload it and use it to power the program that's already on there. So as you can see, the program we just uh, showed you, the simple blink program, the LED blink, or the LED light is blinking at a steady one second on and off. So it turns on, wait one second, turns off. And we'll go back to the screen sharing and we'll show you exactly what to do if you want to speed it up or slow it down. Okay, so as you notice here, as I mentioned before, the delay is how much it's going to wait till it turns on and then off. So we can go back here, backspace this, and we'll put 500 milliseconds or half a second and change both of these. And then we'll up, go up here and we'll upload it. So what that says is that it'll wait for half a second this time instead of a second so it should be linked faster alright so we'll check and see what it looks like now
Okay, as you notice, the Arduino light is blinking faster, so it's turning on and off, and that's only taking one second. As uh, before, the light was taking one second to turn on, turning off for one second, and turning on. It's going faster. So this one's blinking two times as much as the other one would to blink once. And you can easily change the delay value, uh, turning it off faster and then waiting, or you can make it turn on faster and wait. Um, make the, you can make the numbers as small as, uh, I think, two milliseconds or even faster if I'm uh, not mistaken. But I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you. We'll get more uh, depth with the uh, Arduino chip and see what it really can do. So thank you and uh, subscribe.